my name is Ravi Singh Reddy. Today we are going to discuss about a web center PS3 installation uh, process. Uh, today is the first session and uh, I'm working uh, in the field of uh, Java J2E and uh, WebLogic portals, Liferay portal and JBoss and WebSphere portals and combining you know java g2 technology for last 15 years and i would like to take opportunity today to explain to you uh, how we what is the installation process uh, we need to follow for installing the web center in a windows environment a uh, general disclaimer i'm not an employee of oracle a uh, web center uh, ucm j developer sv or uh, fusion middleware, middleware products of Oracle. Uh, these views which are presented in this presentation are best of my knowledge. Uh, please consult your Oracle representative for licensing and product information. And um, before uh, going to uh, further in detail, uh, you need to have a, a developer license uh, from Oracle and you need to register yourself oracle.com and go to download.oracle.com and you can get all this uh, software artifacts which is needed for installing the web center we have uh, going to discuss uh, eight uh, software um, uh, software in ingredients which are needed for installing and successfully running the web center uh, in the first session we're going to talk about four of them and what that is oracle uh, 11g and database and uh, oracle j developer and oracle web service web logic server and repository uh, creation utility for which is needed for a database schemas of for running SVA or uh, web center applications and uh, in the first one uh, what we're going to do is once we have a developer license you can download uh, oracle 11g uh, release to database from oracle.com and we need to download win32 uh, 11g release to database one of two is the 1.6 gb and uh, win32 11g r2 database two of two is 617 mb and once you uh, downloaded these two uh, zip files and extract both the zip files in the same directory uh, something like uh, c download oracle database oracle 11g database and go to your database folder and click uh, setup you know just follow the standard procedure to install your uh, database on your windows platform uh, just create uh, and configure a uh, database and and the create this go to um, create a desktop class and the third screen what you're going to do is just take the default and also your uh, global database uh, name is oracle oracle and uh, set up your administrative password uh, and also confirm the password uh, that way it will in the once you set it up and just follow the steps uh, and you're going to install the Oracle 11G uh, database on your uh, Windows uh, machine. Once you've done that, then what you need to do is actually we need to uh, get the IDE, JDeveloper IDE from oracle.com and just download JDev Studio 11.1.1.4.0exe from oracle.com and uh, you need to make sure that uh, before after installing it you need to make sure uh, enter the new uh, middleware home and in my case i was uh, putting in c colon j developer 11.1.1.4.0 slash ba that's where my middleware uh, home is this is important uh, for uh, further uh, going forward uh, to know that where is your middleware home is a directory is set it up once you've done that one once you install the j developer then the third step is we need to install oracle weblogic server 
and the similar thing uh, download wls1034 underscore win32 exe from oracle.com using your uh, developer license and here uh, previous slide i mentioned that uh, the uh, middleware home which is uh, like a c colon j for 11.1.1.4.0 slash ba we need to use this existing middleware home for weblogic server to to be installed on your uh, windows machine and uh, once you've done that one just to follow it and it will uh, install your weblogic server and uh, that will be end of a uh, three artifacts we installed first one is oracle 11g database our uh, next one is a uh, j developer ide and third one is oracle uh, weblogic server the fourth and uh, next one we are looking at is uh, repository creation utility this is the major one actually uh, the ones who install this one i think your installment process may be more or less uh, 70 to 80 percent will be over and we had a little bit uh, cautious installing the uh, repository creation utility what you need to do is uh, same thing uh, download OEFM RCU win uh, 11.1.1.4.0 disk one of one zip from oracle um, dot com using your developer license uh, and uh, unzip RCU zip file into a directory and uh, before uh, uh, running the rcu bat command what you need to do is actually there there is a something called processes or uh, the set 150 we need to extend it uh, we what you need to do is um, we already create the created the uh, oracle 11 g database um, we need to uh, connect it to that database using sql developer and execute the following sql command and alter system set open cursors equal to thousand and the commit and you may need to bounce the database to get this sql affected sql queries get affected next screen you can see that uh, i've created oracle 11g database and i've connected connected using sql developer and i have executed this command and and once i've done that one i have uh, committed the after once executed the query now we are ready for executing the uh, repository creation utility and wherever you have uh, unzipped your uh, uh, zip file go to from suppose you unzipped uh, your uh, zip file in rcu home go to rcu home uh, bin and rcu dot bat execute then you get rcu creation utility and just follow create and click next and here what you need to do is actually we need to set up the database uh, which we have uh, initially the first step we have created a, like oracle 11g database what you need to do you need to give the in my case i'm using localhost and localhost and the port number 1522 uh, check whether you may have it a 1521 or 1522 on uh, your mission when you're deploying the database uh, check the connection or uh, the port number actually uh, the service name is oracle or cl then username is ss sys because you have to be a sysadmin this is dba privilege should be there for the username uh, to, in order for you to install all the uh, database schemas which is needed for your uh, soe or people all these applications you need what you need is this uh, uh, sys db uh, privileges once you uh, set it up your uh, database you know that's where you are on a repository creation utilities you know bunch of uh, sql scripts they're going to do, create your database schema tables whatnot uh, in your uh, database then it will checks for you know uh, global uh, prerequisites and your l set to go then these are the different kind of uh, uh, scenarios components uh, will be created uh, by the repository rcu uh, rcu or those are uh, the as common schemas identity management enterprise uh, content management oracle data integrator 
Oracle Business Intelligence, WebLogic uh, Communication Service, SOA and BP Infrastructure, Web Center Suite, Portal and BI, and Enterprise uh, Performance Management. Then click next and it will check all the like a uh, uh, component uh, prerequisites it will take a while and it will check all of your uh, schemas uh, whether you have uh, you know all the prerequisites are satisfied boom the next one is uh, just set it up the all the database all schemas uh, set up the password and also you know confirm the password uh, next one is uh, set up the supervisor password and also confirm it then uh, work a repository password and uh, confirm it and then we have um, noted that previously we put pre prefix as a dev and most of the schemas will be prefixed with dev underscore and you can see all the schemas meta services mds those are the and audit services and uh, OID, Oracle Identity Federation, Oracle Identity Manager, Oracle Access Manager, and uh, Adapt Adapt to Access, and uh, Oracle uh, Information, um, then uh, Oracle Content Server, which is used for UCM. All the schemas are going to get created. Click next. Next and you know it validates and creates for a table spaces once that is done and we go and it will create uh, using a host name is localhost and port number is 1522 service name is oracle and connect user as system and operations create once you do the create and you can observe that it took about a while you just need to stare at the computer for 28 minutes and 44 seconds to finish it up and once you've done this stage that means you are uh, more or less uh, 70 to 80 percent of your setup is already done and if you get uh, you know no error you may some sometimes you may pop up uh, some uh, warnings but just ignore it uh, it may not be cause any issues and once you are successful then then you are ready to go in the next steps and today's session what we install is uh, oracle 11g database and uh, oracle j developer ide and also weblogic server and using the repository creation utilities we created schemas uh, which is supports all soa and people bam and all those uh, middleware components were created using rcu and once in the next session uh, we are going to talk about uh, installing ucm and uh, web center installing the web center and the web center extensions from the j, j developer and the soa components we're going to install those uh, four uh, softwares on the next session and this concludes our uh, first uh, session on installing the web center and if you have any questions or need assistance regarding this training session, please contact me. My name is Ravi Singaredi or you can send me email singaredi at hotmail.com and I will try to help you. Your, uh, help you. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.